Now we'll move towards our applications of plywood in punching machine. Now, now plywood used in the punching press shown in this figure. Till now we know that plywood is used to reduce the fluctuations of a speed. Plywood is used to reduce the fluctuations of speed, which is caused by the variation the torque variation in the torque provided by the engine in the cycle and the crank speed is constant that means the load on the crankshaft is constant so flywheel is used to reduce speed fluctuations fluctuations when torque varies and load on crankshaft constant. We can also use flywheel to reduce the fluctuations of the speed when load on crankshaft varies and the torque provided remains constant. For example, in this punching machine, the motor is rotating, running at a constant speed, providing a constant torque. This flywheel is used to absorb the energy from the motor. Now, what is happening here? In this punching machine, this is a basically slider crank mechanism where the crank is rotating continuously and this connecting rod pushes this punch to and fro. So it is a prismatic pair, takes a reciprocating motion here. Now, when the tool comes into the contact of the machine, uh, comes in the contact of the workpiece. At this point, the cutting force is also used to cut the material. So some excess amount of energy is needed to cut the material to penetrate the tool inside the workpiece, which is equivalent to the uh, strain energy required to produce a particular deformation in the material. So in this type of punching machine or riveting machines, at the time of riveting on per or punching, the energy required is most and the load of machine is also increases during the punching operation or riveting operation. For example, consider if this machine is not, if this work piece is not placed here, then this work machine will work, rotate at the constant speed without any fluctuation in the speed. Now, if I put suddenly a piece of metal here, then as my tool strikes the metal piece, it should also penetrate the metal piece according to its strength and the energy which is responsible for the deformation of piece is also comes from this moving crankshaft. And during the complete punching operation, the energy is absorbed from this crankshaft. So the speed of crankshaft is suddenly dropped during the punching operation. If the punching is start at any angular rotation theta, any angular rotation position of crankshaft theta 1 and punching ends at the angle of rotation of crank theta 2 that means the tools start penetration when the crank rotates by angle theta 1 and stops penetration that means the penetration is completed when the crank turned by the angle theta 2 so during theta 1 to theta 2 value of crank rotation the punching operation is performed.
So the load on the crankshaft is higher during this rotation. Now again from theta 2 to theta 1 the punching is in no load condition because there is no material at the in front of the in front of the tool so there is no resistance of the material here so the load is suddenly reduced during this angle turn by the now what is happening if i am not using this flywheel so in this duration the machine gets energy from the motor and increases its speed and when the cutting is starts that means angular deform uh, sorry angular displacement of crank from theta 1 value to theta 2 value in this situation the speed of machine is dropped okay so there is a fluctuation of speed during this reason the speed is maximum and during this reason the speed is minimum to reduce this fluctuation of energy sorry reduce this fluctuation of speed during the punching operation we use this flywheel so what flywheel do during punching uh, during free time that means no load situation that is when the crank rotates from the angular position theta 2 to angular position theta 1 flywheel absorbs the excess amount of energy and supplies this excess amount of energy at the time of punching that means when crank rotates from position theta 1 to theta 2 okay so in this manner the flywheel help us to reduce the fluctuation of the speed during punching operation punching and non punching operation now let's we determine what is the fluctuation of energy in the punching machine let us consider that even is the amount of energy required in the punching a hole so let e1 is the energy required to punch a hole energy required to punch a hole is e1 d1 is the diameter of hole to be punched and T is thickness of plate in which hole is created hole is to be created that tau u is the ultimate tensile strength ultimate shear strength of the plate material strength of plate material so the shear force for punching fs is given by shear strength ultimate shear strength into the area of shear that is pi d1 t the energy required to punch the hole
that is E1 denoted by the average energy that is 1 by 2 Fs into the displacement is T. Now, if E1 is the energy required to punch the hole, then energy supplied by a motor to punch a hole should be equals to E1 into theta 2 minus theta 1 by 2 pi that because during this angular deformation only the energy is the energy is required to punch. So here say this is the energy E2 which is actually supplied by the motor during the punching operation this theta 2 minus theta 1 pi 2 pi it is a fraction of total energy supplied T1. So the total energy supplied by the punching machine is E1 but it's a fraction of this E1 is utilized in actual punching operation. Okay, this total circle represents the energy supplied during one complete revolution. If in one complete revolution of crankshaft, we can as we assume that there is a one hole is punched in every revolution of crank, then this total circular position represents the total energy supplied by the uh, motor to punch a hole. And this E1, E2 is the fraction of that energy portion which is actually used in during the punching. Now, the fluctuation of energy fluctuation of energy E1 minus E2, which is E1, 1 minus theta 2 minus theta 1 by 2 pi is the fluctuation of energy. Say it is delta E. Now, the difference theta 2 minus theta 1, now theta 2 minus theta 1 can be determined by by the geometry of punching machine machine for example so if s is equals to stroke length is equals to 2 times of r where R is equals to crank radius then theta 2 minus theta 1 pi 2 pi so ratio is equals to T by 2s or T by 4r in this manner we can determine fluctuation of energy 
from any punching machine. If you have any doubt or query related to this topic or in this subject, you can share your doubts or queries on the given numbers here. Okay, thank you.